Hello everybody. I just want to make a quick video here um, about a lot of stuff that's been going around on YouTube or what you may hear on YouTube channels um, that I want to make sure that you're very aware of and throw up the red flag once you hear these key words such as buy gold and silver at any price. Once I heard these words and economic collapse and track cash is trash and all this other stuff economic collapse is gonna everything is gonna be done and the only thing you're ever gonna need to own is gold and silver well if that was really true don't you think more than one percent of the population would be investing in it seriously think about that for a second now i'm not trashing gold and silver as i love gold and silver i still invest in silver i just don't invest in silver for its content I invest in silver. What is on the silver content? There's two different worlds. And a lot of people are uneducated about this and make videos about this and trying to convince people to not to do this that don't understand about it. At least understand the field before you speak about it. For two and a half years, I was totally brainwashed in a buoyant form for the reasons I mentioned before. But I was woken up after I lost $12,000 in listening to the words as buy at any price, which is the key red flag. You hear anybody say buy at any price, you stop that video and you run. That is the best advice I will ever give you on investing in any asset class. Because any smart, real investor knows that it's the most dumb idiotic move you can ever do buy it anything at any price seriously you can't argue with the facts that's what this channel is about the truth the holy truth and not the whole and nothing but the holy truth if you don't like it then leave I'm about the facts not about myth believing dreaming I did that for two and a half years and dreaming and hoping cost me $12,000 of my family's wealth. Not saying what I'm investing in now will turn out any better than what I did before. But I'll tell you what, since 1999 until today's date of 2015, it has an average increase of 20% to 60% in every four years valuation that is the lunar series coins nobody can deny that that is a fact not fiction not made up not a dream world it is a fact think about that 20 percent to up to 60 percent on every four year basis and some of them have been more even a horse, a half ounce horses today have gone up from $12 to $16. That's a four hour jump in one year. That's huge. Anybody who denies you that and trying to convince you to stay with bullion, buy that bullion at any price, leave immediately. Because if I were to listen to this video, Three and a half, two and a half years ago, or three years ago, I would have been out. Of, I never would have purchased a bullion, and I would have been up my investment today. This is what this channel's about. That's all. I'm not telling what you need to buy. I'm just telling you what is in today's market the best thing to buy. And I'm not going to trash bullion because I will get into bullion like I did in my past. So there's three categories for you to invest in in precious metals. And you need to be well educated in all three to understand which one is best for you. Bullion, the cheapest form, which is the most deadliest form of all to invest in. And it also can be one of the most rewarding ones. As from the early 1970s, mid 70s to the 1980s, you entered the transfer of wealth. In the late 1999s or to 2003 to 2011, you have gone. You have also required the transfer of wealth and precious metals. But any other years, 
you have lost dramatically. And if you got into precious metals, buoyant form, when the price was rising, you have got slaughtered. I'll get into that in later details. Let's move on as some people like to use the word, I digress. So now, this guy always used the terms which I got sucked into, like I said earlier, buy at any price. Anybody says that, this is exactly what you do immediately. Economic collapse, revalued currency overnight. Hmm? This is when you just totally disregard the video and do this later. Best advice you will ever make in your life. But why? Let's go back to actual history because you have to do your own research like I have done. Like, why did I really lose $12,000? Okay? These people are making millions. People are telling you buying any price haven't lost. Okay? You need to learn from the people who have lost by listening to the people who are getting wealthy because they're sucking you in. Or people who are just simply brainwashed. To believe that and good people but are just brainwashed like I was for two and a, for two and a half years that were vicious and uh, that are in denial of the truth because they're brainwashed worst time in American history for economic collapse and a reset was 1929 and I'm in a gold chat I'm in a gold chart here okay people were jumping out the windows and literally killing themselves what did I do? Nothing. Actually, lost money, right? Yeah, sure did. And after 1933, the government pretty much made it. Says citizens, you got to cash in your gold. Here's your money. You can no longer own it because it is collapsing. It is collapsing the system because people are buying gold because everything else is going to shit. But guess what? They took it away from you. Not saying it was not a smart investment. I'm just stating that what ended up being is that people didn't invest into the country to keep it afloat. So the government had no other choice but to take it away from you and reevaluate it to make it a stable country. So either you, basically what the government's telling you, you, you either invest in a country or we're going to take your wealth away from you to invest that money into the country to make it survive because not that many people turned in their their gold in these time frames so it's not like every citizen turned in 20 quadrillion or 20 billion ounces of silver or 1 billion or 100 million ounces of silver okay they don't have the technology like in today's world if they did all you people have gold it's all locked down credit cards wire transfers the government knows every person has every ounce of everything. Everything is locked down, okay? Back then, they didn't know who had who, what had what. But anyway, let's continue here. So that was the worst time in the United States in the late 1920s, 30, okay? After the World War One, okay? Government revaluated from 26 to 34. That is not multiple times. It's a few dollars. <laughs> multiple times. Where do you get multiple times from? Okay. Where's the multiple times? Here's World War II now. Still at the same price as World War I. Right? It actually decreased in value. Hmm. Wow. It's supposed to be backed by somewhat by gold still. A currency. Is another thing. Gold is gold and silver as real currency failed more than any other currencies. If you really look at the history, okay. Seriously, look up Sherman Law. See what happened. I'm not getting involved in that one in this video. But just do your own research, people. You'll find out. Okay. 70s when he started. 71 is when he took it off the gold standard and allowed citizens to buy. Or 1973, I think it was actually where he allowed citizens to buy precious metals again. That's when Hunt Brothers came in and started sucking up all the silver. <laughs> like a vacuum, getting all these other billionaires involved. <laughs> buy, buy, buy. And guess what? They tried to get this Saudi Arabian prince to get into this scam that they wanted to collapse the system and be the richest people in the world by owning all the silver. And his nephew literally assassinated him before they actually had 
the sit-down meeting to sign any type of agreement contracts with the Hunt brothers. They killed them because they knew that their wealth was going to get sucked out of that and all their oil and wealth was going to get destroyed because of silver. Buy at any price, huh? Buy at any price. Any price. Oh my God, the economic collapse because the Hunt brothers almost collapsed the system. Oh my God, buy it at three, six hundred, four hundred. Well, let's hold up here. Let's go to peak, six hundred or four eighty. Let's see how long it took you. Buy at any price. This is 19. We're in 20 years later, practically. Buy at any price. You have lost your wealth in the last 20 years by buying that shit, a buying at any price. Where do you get that knowledge from? Where? Buying at any price. Tell me. Where do you see this, people? Buying at any price. Now, we're at gold here, minus, let's say, the most valuable precious metals out of them all when, it, when it's valued with currencies. Not platinum. I'm talking about gold. Wow. 2005 before you saw 400 bucks again. Oh, we're looking for six. Oh, my God. 2006 from 1980? It took you over 25 years to see your money return or equal down. But meanwhile, houses have doubled and tripled. Everything else around you, all, uh, asset all, all other asset classes have multiplied massively as people are believing in this crap of economic collapse for the last freaking 100 plus years. And silver and gold has always failed. Okay. This is this what happens. Okay, 2009, the pumper started coming up. Buy at any price. Buy at any price. Don't stay there. Stay over there. Right? Buy at any price. Right, fail, fellas? Nor you guys? Prove me wrong that that's not the best investment you could do or listening to. 2011, all those guys in 2010 were pumping that up. Buy at any price. Buy at any price, huh? You got slaughtered if you buy at any price. You have lost like I did. It's the silver chart, same way. Dude, I even got involved in this crap. I did videos of this shit. Done. If you listen to anybody that says that, you're done. You will be done, doomed. Are they going to guarantee your money back in your loss? No. So why are you listening to them? So now, I'm going to go to this guy here, who I was po supposedly claimed by being this person in one of somebody's videos saying, if I make a video or a couple more videos, maybe I can pump it up. And get more people to buy it for six hundred dollars, and then he starts saying something about, "Oh, it, the transaction never went through because it came back up." Let me tell you something. There's a thing called the rolls. This person had more than one coin. He sold this for six hundred. Actually, somebody sold it for seven hundred dollars. So if you did your real research, like you have to do on semi numismatic coins, which is very hard work. Not easy to do. Okay? This person sold this. And this is what a problem I have. This is why I'm not him. Because, see, he schooled me. Because I'm here to protect everybody from being scammed. That's what I do. Protect you and I. This is what, this is what I first said to him. This is my channel. This is my name here on YouTube. I love Heidi. Anybody who knows me knows that's legit. This is what I told them. La I laughed out loud. Seven hundred dollars start starting bid on a series two mouse, two ounce coin. Please, a series one mouse is worth around two hundred bucks, which makes this coin under two hundred. You're a lunar scammer. Seven hundred dollars, laughing my fucking ass off. Huh? That was when I was uneducated, thinking that the lunar series one coin was actually worth more than two, and it's not. And my buddy Inspurity68, who was teaching me and showing me what's going on in this 
numismatic world and semi-numismatic world, which takes education and understanding. and takes a lot of time, but there's more wealth in this area than any other area of precious metals. That's why people are scared of it like I was when I first got into precious metals. High premiums, super high premiums. Yeah, go ahead. Stick with your low premiums. Watch what happens. There's a reason why these coins are these high. This is the first year series of the Series 2 coins. This is why my three coin proof set mouse sold very little sets. Because the Series 2 came out with a thousand sets and people bought them and not my mouse set. Now which mouse set is worth more? The Series 1 three coin proof set or the Series 2 mouse coin proof set? My proof coin set is worth four times more. At least. Okay? Education, people. There's less than 75 sets of mine. There's over a thousand in Series 2. Which is why I couldn't... It was mind-boggling me still today that this coin is worth $700 or more. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay? I can't even comprehend that today's world. I still think it's overpriced. But you know what? It's pro it may not be. Because when a Series 2 coin... When a Series 2 Lunar Series comes to a complete, this could be an easily $1,000 coin because it's the first year issued of the complete Series 2 coin set, which is why I'm going for the Series 1s because they always multiply in value after the last series is complete. So this is what I respond to him, and this is what he responded back to me. This is my name again. Also, if you can get the Series 2 mouse, I will buy every one at $200. So there's your liquidation right there. That this person will buy any Lunar Series 2 mouse set right now. Two ounce, buoyant form, for $200 today. You really need to keep your mindless opinions to yourself. Do I really need to tell you what the coins are going for, basically? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Because the guys have smacked me around. Because I'm trying to protect people from being scammers. Because I didn't understand the true value of these coins. Because it takes education and understanding. And this is what I this is what I replied back to him again. Congratulations. You're a proud lowlife that sells to uneducated people on the price of Lunar Series 2 mouse coin. The joke is on me. Because I was the uneducated one. Not him. He wasn't the one that was guessing what the price was. He was the one that knew what the price was because it's the first year issue. And a person that buys it for 700 has an excellent chance for that being a $1,000 coin in about four years' time. What's your chances of you buying, uh, making $100 per ounce in the next four years on your bullion form coin? Which has the better odds? This Series 2 mouse becoming $1,000 when a Lunar Series 2 is complete? Or your Eagle or your Bullion Form 1 ounce coin of being $150? Think about that real quick. Or take your time. People can buy the three coin proof set for $700, which I'm talking about the Series 2, which is true. Your coin is not even at $200. I will I will sell you a seal roll basically I made for a thousand. I was bullshitting him, right? Because I was like, oh fuck this guy, this guy's a scammer, right? I'll pretend I ain't got none of that. Everybody knows I don't have any of those coins. Okay, you insulted me twice. F Y I, whatever the hell that means. I'm a really bad at that shit of abbreviations. I sold my first mouse at an auction for four hundred and forty five dollars three weeks ago. I put on, uh, which by the way, the auctions last for seven days. That's quick liquidation, okay? If you put it buy now, it only lasts for 30 days on, on eBay. So anybody who knows about e eBay knows that. Anybody who doesn't sell or buy anything on eBay because they don't buy anything on eBay, because maybe they don't have any precious metals at all, but... It, but make everybody else assume that they do have because they don't make videos of their physical possession. You're afraid of one's family security. Hmm. 
Really, I see people that have over 3,000 ounces of silver on eBay all the time, including I. Let me tell you something. Whether you say it or show it, it's not that hard to really hack into somebody's email address on YouTube. Because every email address has a thing called on your computer an ID address where you can find out exactly where specifically that came from. True hackers can find this very easily. Nobody's here to steal your 3,000 ounces of silver that you traded into gold. Please. Nobody cares about that. I put on here for $699 about 10, day, 10 days ago for $699 and was asked by the buyer to please place it for $699. I purchased it and was very happy. The market sets the price. You should know that. I still don't see how it's your business. You're upset that you don't have any of these coins. And if you did, would sell them for $150. Yeah, right. Please keep your bullshit to yourself. He put me in his place and educated me on exactly what these coins were worth. Because I thought it was an insult. And I thought they were nowhere near that. Well, my buddy Chase also woke me up. It's a first year issued. They're worth it. Some sold for four. Some sold for more or less. And this is another thing that people get really screwed up on here, um, which is I also want to show, which is one person who did make the video who totally messed up on his video because he did a lack of research on it. Because he doesn't really because he doesn't buy any silver on eBay or any silver or gold at all completely. It could be false and misleading everybody. Do you really know what he does? He doesn't show you any proof of anything, really. A piece of paper with numbers doesn't mean anything. Anybody can put numbers up. This coin, what do you see wrong in the beginning? Do you see the mouse? Or do you see Queen Elizabeth? Only one picture. Okay. But this coin was sold for $156. Because he's trying to fool people into believing that it's the real mouse coin. This is why you got to be careful and do the whole research on this thing. Because he doesn't say here, Lunar Series 2 mouse. Okay, very low mintage. Okay? I'm trying to be slick. And not telling you the truth. But he does tell you the truth. If you actually... Stroll down in your mouse, which really isn't that hard to do. And this person was pretty intelligent, so I can't see him not being that dumb. But huh, maybe when you're not uneducated in this field, uh, maybe that could easily happen because it does happen to people. Because humans do make mistakes. Okay? What's that word say right here, people? Okay? It's a colorized coin. Okay? And it tells you right here how many mintages there are. And then it tells you another year there's another mintage. Okay? See what I'm saying? There's the bullion form. And here he's saying right here that coward application has a mintage of 7,621. The regular bullion has 9,000. This is this coin that he's selling. Now, if you keep strolling down, ah, there's the mouse you're buying. Colorized. Hmm. Just a little extra research will go a long way. Maybe if you slow down before you make your videos, you wouldn't be making these critical mistakes in every video you, you make that the Micmac 88 keeps catching you on and nobody else does. Maybe that's the reason why he hates me so much. Hmm. Just saying. Do your research. I'm here to help all. Watch out for these words. These people are misleading you. Not saying buy-in is a wrong investment. I'm just saying watch out for these keywords and you will be fine. If you want to invest in buy-in, look at the stats. Do the history. See when it's the best time and when it's not. And never buy at any price.